like a color that you're not is essentially racist. I don't think he's racist at all. It is a little messed up. I think some people would find that offensive. Just some of the reaction today as offensive photos emerge of the Prime Minister in brown and black face. We have breaking news with a third photograph and all the impact this is going to have on the federal election. The Trudeau campaign is in damage control mode this hour, rocked by three separate occasions, photographs of the prime minister wearing brown or black face. The liberal leader has apologized, but his judgment and credibility among voters are in question today. Priya Sam, Sam is live in our newsroom. Priya, you've been speaking with so many voters. Tell us about some of the reaction you've received. It has been so interesting, uh, Farah, talking to people this morning. So I would say that everyone we spoke to was surprised by the video of Justin Trudeau in blackface and the photos of him in brownface. Uh, but the reaction to how this should impact the election was mixed. This is the third confirmed incident of Justin Trudeau in black or brownface makeup to surface in the last 24 hours. A Trudeau staffer confirming to Global News this is the Prime Minister, but would not say when or where the video was shot. The reaction to the video in downtown Toronto is mixed. He was fairly young at that time and, you know, it's something that doesn't bother me really. It is very disrespectful to the black race and the fact that people don't recognize that um, we're still being disrespected even after many years of slavery. That's really sad. Trudeau apologized for the initial photo showing him with dark face makeup and a turban. He says it was taken in 2001 at an Arabian night themed dinner held at a private school where he was a teacher at the time. It was something that uh, I didn't think was racist at the time, but now I recognize um, it was something racist to do and I am deeply sorry. Other party leaders reacting to these three incidents this morning on the campaign trail. I believe that Canadians might have been able to accept his apology if he had been truthful and open, if he hadn't based that apology on a lie. But he was specifically asked if there were other instances where he engaged in this type of racist behaviour and he indicated that there was only one other incident and now we know that there was at least three. What we're seeing now is an ongoing pattern of behaviour that's really going to hurt Canadians. They're going to see the Prime Minister uh, mocking the realities that so many Canadians live with and it is not a joke. Back on the streets of Toronto, voters are wondering how these photos remained hidden for so long and saying there's no excuse for Trudeau's actions. I feel like what people need to realize is when dressing up in, say, cultural outfits, you don't necessarily have to put on the skin color as well. Like, you can dress up as Aladdin and people will still get the character without you painting your skin. I think that's, like, like really messed up because the blackface, regardless if you're, like, doing it as a black person or somebody of color like that's just wrong on the other side some torontonians say it was a sign of the times it is a little mess up but like you conform to whatever society was like you know back then what is certain though is that the incidents are making headlines in toronto across the country and now around the world and we have yet to hear from Justin Trudeau since Global News exclusively obtained that video. Uh, we have heard a little bit from his staff, but all they have said is a con they have given confirmation that it is him in the video and have also said that it was shot during the 90s. So we'll be following this story throughout the day.